Welcome to this episode of Westfield First. I am Joanne Nealon, and today I will take you on a tour of some of the local businesses. We have Meeker Florist, The Boulevard Bistro, and Early T. Peterson and Company. And who knows, after this show, maybe one of these shops will become a favorite destination of yours. My name is Elena Siervo. I own Meeker's Florist. Um, 427 South Avenue West in Westfield, New Jersey. Just uh, Meeker's Floors from the original Meeker's 15 years ago. Uh, the business itself has been in existence for 75 years. Now, when you took over 15 years ago, did you make any changes? Uh, you added your own flavor? Yes, I did. I, I studied European design. I added my own flavor uh, to the business. and. Um, you, you studied European design. Explain to someone like myself what does that mean? Uh, European design, I actually studied in, um, in Holland. It's um, the way of, of designing that the Dutch and, and the Germans design be beautiful hand-tied bouquets, um, gorgeous, gorgeous area arrangements, just using the flowers as a focal point and just doing it very light and airy and, uh, and making the flowers stand out. Well, I know personally I did have my floral arrangement for my door, door front door done here. It's beautiful, Thank dried you. flowers, but you specialize in fresh. Tell us the, the, the type of flower, floral arrangements you do. Uh, we use a lot of uh, roses. We always have at least uh, seven or eight different colored roses available at all times. We use a lot of hydrangea, lilies, um, spring and summer flowers right now. Um, Larkspur, uh, Gerber daisies, things like that. Considering the fact that you are a professional and an expert in this field, would you give someone advice if they came in, let's say, and were getting married in, you know, uh, November, and they wanted something you felt was not the right kind of flower? Would you offer your opinion on of that? Of course. Um, we do our wedding consultations in the evening by appointment, and um, people bring in their ideas, prospective brides, and I give them my ideas. I have photographs of weddings that I did, and and I would tell them what flowers are in season and what flowers look better with the color choice of the outfits that they chose for their wedding. Now, have things changed much, much over the 15 years? Ha has there been a trend in that you... I've noticed that the trend in bridal bouquets is um, small and tight mm -hmm. and hand-tied where the stems are showing and we would wrap the uh, beautiful ribbon around the stem. That's changed okay. um, and I, I really like that you look. You do? Yes. And what is your favorite type of arrangement to make? Do you have something you... Hand-tied bouquets are, are my favorite arrangements to make. That's, they're very European, and we, we deliver those a lot to clients. Um, it's very easy. All they do is uh, drop it in a vase. It's tied with a little bit of raffia, and um, they just put it in a, in a vase of water, and it looks beautiful. And if someone were to come to you with a request for something special, let's say they would have an occasion that needed something befitting that occasion, do you do specialty orders yes, like sure that? Yes, sure we do. You yeah, do? Sure we do. Now, your client base, is it just, is a lot of people coming off the street, or you have neighboring towns? Who, who do you serve mostly? Uh, mostly Westfield. We serve Scotch Plains, Mountainside, uh, Cranford. Those are most of our clients. And you, you have a great location, and I know there's a lot of, you know, you right across the street from the train station and near the Holy Trinity and a lot of other businesses. South Avenue is just re, you know, energized with beautiful mm -hmm. streetscape and whatnot. Do you also um, keep up, you have a website, people yes. now reach you yes. via that Our as well? Our website is www.meekersfloristnj.com. And do you find that you follow up with clientele, people coming back to you? Like, I know I'll come back and have my um, door, door arrangement spruced up. You do all that kind yes, of servicing yes, I as do. well? Yes, I do. We do a lot of custom work. If uh, a client needs me to come to their home to take a look at their decor, if they need a custom piece made for a special occasion, whether it's fresh or silk or dried, we also do that. Now, can you tell us a little bit of, you know, flowers are an investment, an expensive um, item, and, and they're something we love and enjoy, and we want to have them last as long as possible. Can you tell us how you can preserve your fresh flowers once you do receive Fresh flowers, um, people in Europe, uh, again, going back to European design, people in Europe have flowers just like we would have loaves of bread on their table every day. And um, it's just a nice pick-me-up to come in, get a couple of flowers for yourself, and um, put them in a vase and enjoy them. 
Um, the thing you want to remember is every other day, uh, change the water in the flowers. Recut the flowers, maybe an inch off the bottom, and put fresh water and fresh flower food in, which we, uh, you know, we include with your flower purchase. Oh, great! Could be, and you were explaining earlier because the bacteria in the water. So I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. So it makes sense if if the water is dirty, the flower really won't last exactly. as long. Exactly. So, so that's, that's really why good. it's important to recut the stem and to uh, change the water. Do you have a favorite type? Do you prefer working with dried flowers or silk flowers? I prefer working well, with fresh flowers. Fresh, yeah, yeah. They're my favorites. But I must tell you, even the one, the, the flowers that aren't fresh look real, look very real. I mean, they're a beautiful quality. Do you go to the, a special market for them? You go to Manhattan? We, we, we go to a special market, a, a, a usually a flower show, uh, once or twice a year, and I have uh, certain vendors that I've been working with for years with those. So you have a relationship yes. and they know what you like. Do you have someone who works with you here? Or you? Yes, I do. I have uh, two people that work with me uh, part-time, and then I have other people um, for seasonal. And even with this economy, that's kind of been a little bit, you know, people tightening their belts. Do you not feel that? Consider the flowers kind of still I mean, are everybody essential. Everybody feels that in a way, but um, you know, we we do work with brides. We do work with um, some local funeral homes, and and you, have you know, yeah. And, and like you said earlier, a lot of people. I know my sister always has fresh flowers on her table, and I sometimes. I go and I think, why don't I do that? You know, and I think now after speaking with you, I sure. might do that. It doesn't just have to be just a couple of flowers. Just come in, a couple of Gerber daisies in a in a really pretty vase, and it'll just make you happy. So you've lived and worked in Westfield for 15 years. Yes. Uh, can you tell me the favorite part of being in Westfield for you? The people, uh, the sense of uh, community involvement, and um, that's what makes it work for, for a lot of us business owners in Westfield. Well, you know that our mayor always says if you can't find it in Westfield, you probably don't need it. And we really um, applaud independent small business owners like yourself, and we celebrate you, and that's uh, one of the great reasons we do this, hoping to, you know, people tuning in would get a chance to view this and say, oh, let me go check out Meekers. So, uh, Thank you for being in business and for having such a beautiful, um, welcoming environment. Thank it's you. some place you seem you really like to stop and get to know the proprietor. So, um, good luck to you in the future as well. Thank and, you uh, so we much. We hope to be here in many, many more years. Thank you very much.